Hey, and welcome back to my series on the Python standard library, still going through strings. Today, we are going to talk about different ways to uh, remove characters from a string. So if I say S equals A, B, C, D, E, F, um, and well, actually, let's try something else. Let's do, say I put your name equals input into your name. Let's ask the users for, to enter their name. And if I enter here, Reuven, okay, that's my name, of course. Let's do this, I'm gonna do print, you know, do an F string here, hello, name. Very friendly. So I enter Rufin, and sure enough, it says, hello, Rufin. Okay, that's reasonable, that's good. But what if the user's a little tired and they fall asleep on the keyboard here? Now we're gonna get this, because of course now, the string includes all that white space on either side. This is a classic problem that I've encountered all the time. And the way to deal with this is I can say name, my variable dot strip. The strip method, by default, removes all white space from either side. Notice, it's removing all the white space from the sides. If I say s equals a, b, and c, so if I say s dot strip here, right, it's going to remove the white space from the sides. It's not going to do anything about the insides. I should also add, if I add all sorts of other characters, like tabs and new lines here, right, and uh, some spaces as well, strip will remove all those. Oh, sorry, I guess I forgot another backslash there. Right, so it won't touch anything in the middle, but will stuff the, touch the stuff on the end. So I use strip all the time. In fact, I often do it like this. Let's just copy this code here. I'm going to say here, dot strip. Because right, what's going to happen? Input is going to return a string. That string, it's anonymous, but still string. We run the method, the strip method on it, and the result from running that then goes into the variable name. And then no matter what we enter, it still works really great. Okay, so that's strip. Now strip is actually a little more powerful than this even. So what if I say here, s equals, let's, like, you know, let's say I'm in Hollywood or something. So I can do s dot strip, but that's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna remove any of the white space because there is no white space on either side. What I can do though is say s dot strip of star. And now instead of removing white space, it's gonna remove all those stars. Now if I do a help on s dot strip, we're gonna see that we can have chars Right, and it says, return a copy of the string with leading trading white space removed if chars is given and not none, remove characters and chars instead. Now that sounds like I could actually have more than one character in chars. So what if I say here, star slash, star slash, star slash, star slash, star slash, star slash. Now I say remove the stars. Well, it's only gonna do the stars there. But if I say star slash, it's gonna remove all of that. Or if you want, slash star. It's not removing the string star slash, it's removing this or that. Here it's using a string as a container. And so it's just looking sort of at each element in the string. And if slash is there, it's gone. If star is there, it's gone. Um, so this is really useful. And you can think of the default value of strip as being, you know, s dot strip of, and that would be space backslash t, backslash n, backslash r, backslash v, I think, vertical tab, which as I like to say, I don't think has been used since the 1950s or so. But you never know. And of course, here it won't make any difference because none of those characters are at the end. <coughs> Ooh, that was a pretty horrible setting. Okay, what else can we do? Well, let's say I'm reading from a file. So, uh, you know, one line equals, you know, this is a line. And it's going to end with a new line character. And let's say it also starts with some tap characters there. So I can do a one line dot strip, but that's going to remove the white space from the beginning and the white space at the end. At the same time, uh, sometimes I'll want that, but at the same time, I might only want to remove the left side or the right side. For example, often when I go through a Python program, if I'm trying to print it, I want to get rid of the new line on the right side, but I don't want to touch the indentation on the left side because, you know, indentation in Python is kind of important. So what am I going to do? I am going to do one line dot R strip. And R strip works just like strip, except it only works on the right hand side. Similarly, I can say one line dot L strip, and then it only removes things on the left side. Now you could argue that I could then do one line dot R strip and dot L strip. And that's basically the same as just doing strip, right? I'm doing it first on the right and then the left, getting rid of all the white space there. And all the other options we saw earlier about putting one character, multiple characters, are also true for R strip and L strip as well. So that's how we can remove characters from the ends of the string. Again, strip doesn't do anything except to the ends of the string. But what if I have here s equals, you know, this is a, you know, an interesting sentence. And I want to change all of the white space to be um, uh, underscore character. So I can say s dot replace, and I can say here space with underscore. And that returns a new string, and I, I can't stress enough, in all of these examples, because strings in Python are immutable, in all of these examples, we're not changing the original string, 
rather than getting back a new string, because strings are immutable. So here, replace is returning a new string in which all the spaces have been re replaced by underscores. Now, if I say help s on replace, what do we have here? Well, you can see here, we have old, right? So that's the old string. We have new, right, with a new string. And then we are going to have count minus one, which means as many as possible, all occurrences. That means that if I have here s equals a, b, c, a, b, c, a, b, c, and I say here s replace a with star, that will actually work. First of all, notice that this one character a can be replaced with three stars. That's fine. But I can also say replace a with star only once, and then it'll only do it the first time, or if you want, right, only twice. So this is the maximum number of times that we're going to make that replacement. It's always from the left-hand side, not from the right-hand side. Uh, one other way that you can use replace, uh, I do this quite a bit. If I want to remove a character, I can say, for instance, s dot replace a empty string. An empty string will basically say, okay, let's just get rid of all the, well, we're going to get rid of all occurrences of a, we're going to replace with empty string, and we get back a string without any a's in it. Um, now, notice that replace is not super, super flexible. You can't say, I'm going to replace this character with that character and that character with that character. We're going to talk about that when we talk about trans, um, uh, transform, transla translate, sorry, I always forget the name of the method, translate later on in the series. But this is good for like, I want to change one character to one other character, or one character to a bunch of other characters. All right, I hope this was helpful. Leave comments if you have questions, suggestions, ideas, and uh, I will be back on this channel soon with more in the Python Standard Library.